channel this is stitching colorist with Shelley Lewis so for today's video um, I was going to do a coloring book kind of flip through but I've been doing a lot of stitching lately and I really really wanted to show you my stitching stash so it's a floss tube <laughs> yeah I haven't done a floss tube video for absolutely ages um, yeah, because I'm a slow stitcher and I haven't been getting that much, well, I wasn't getting that much stash, but I kind of did this month. Um, but it's explainable. So I've got my bunny ears on, so please excuse my bunny ears. <laughs> I hope you like them. So I've got quite a lot to get through here. Um, I have brought a bit of stitching stash. Oops. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll guess, I'll guess I'll show in my stash first and then we'll go into my whips where I've been working on and my current whips where I've got. So stash first. Now, I can't remember if I showed you these in my last floss tube video because uh, it has been a while. So I do apologise if I have and I'm showing you again. Um, I hope the background's alright. I know it's not the tidiest but yeah I'm filming in my bedroom at the minute um because my children are downstairs. So stash you know how I've been I might have mentioned it in my last video that I've been enjoying Gecko Rouge design. Well I've been stitching a Gecko Rouge. Well my f I was looking on the Gecko Rouge site and my finger kind of slipped on the order button <laughs> oops so yeah this is one of the kits i got this is called amelia and this is one of the swirly designs that's what it is it's so cute it's going to be stitched on 14 count ada and it's got the dmc flosses now in these gecko rich gecko rich gecko rouge kits let me see if i can get some lighting in here so we've got a bit more lighting but I don't think it's all that good but yeah you can still see anyway. So yeah this is one of the kits that I got um, from Gecko Rouge. This was 17 .99. With a postage it is a little bit more so I think it roughly counts to about £22 for that one but I thought it was worth it. It looks like there's going to be plenty of block colours as well so I'm going to really enjoy that. Along with that one. I purchased this one <laughs> so this is from the same kind of design swirlies designs and this is Luke the dragon now I was at the time looking for a dinosaur one a blue one but they had sold out however they did have this one I just thought it was so so cute I thought it was adorable and um, this is also gonna be stitched on 14 count Ada and that was the same price um, for these kits, I won't tag these kits in in the descriptions below. However, I will leave a link to the Gecko Rouge site for if you do want to check it out if there is any cross stitches out there. Um, I thought before I started showing my stash, I haven't actually give you a live update. Um, I'll just finish my stash and then I'll give you a live update. So. The other one that I purchased, now I purchased this off an independent seller on Facebook. This wasn't on the Gecko Rouge site because this was a part of the Gem 3. Um, if you're not familiar with Gecko Rouge gems, what they are, it's like a mystery kit that you can get every so often. Um, where you'll buy a mystery kit and you don't actually know what you're gaining until you receive it. And every now and again on Facebook or eBay you do get that one odd kit that somebody's selling maybe if they did purchase the mystery kit and it wasn't quite for them. So I saw this and I thought because I've got that other penguin one, I thought this was so adorable. Uh, this was a part of the Christmas one and I thought he's got his cup of hot chocolate there, he's got his candy cane there, I thought that is so adorable. And as well, it's also some block colours in that. And that's also stitched on a 14 count Ada as well. So the other purchase that I made. <laughs> yeah, 
would be surprised if we get to see some progress on kits here. If I can't do progress on all of them, I'll just do the progress on the main ones that I've been working on. So the other thing that I got, um, now I purchased this on eBay. It was going for a certain amount of money, but I couldn't quite afford that. So I thought I would pop in, just bring you down here a minute. Over here. Oh, really? That's it. So I thought I would pop in a. Um, well, first the seller sent me an offer. Um, I couldn't quite afford it, so I did put a uh, not very much lower because I know that these gecko rouge kits can be expensive. So I put an offer in just for a little lower, and they accepted it. So thank you. So the one that I purchased. This is again was a gem free kit, that's why it came in the box because of it being a mystery. However, I didn't know what this kit was, so obviously I posted it on eBay. So, the kit that I purchased is this one. I thought this was so, so unbelievably cute. It was absolutely gorgeous, and not to mention when I was looking on the Gecko Rouge facebook page which i will also leave a link in the description below there was somebody that was stitching this on 14 count ada and it really did look super cute now it has got quite a bit of block color in the background with the black here there's lots there you've got bits of block color here but when you come closer to his face it's a little not very confetti but it's a, that little bit more confetti and it's got on the blog at the bottom there to say it's a gem, gem free kit. So this is on 14 count Ada again. I did take the fabric out so I could have a little look at what it was. And yeah, like I said, I put a bid in for it and I won it. So I was really, really happy with that. Oh, it's just so adorable. It is absolutely cute. And as well with this kit, because what you can do is when you get kits off the Gecko Rouge site, you you don't have to, but you can also get the matching needle minders, where with this kit, it came with two needle minders. And the first one that I've got came in these little pouches. And the first one that I've got was... I've got this one. Now this is a GEMS 3 kit needle minder. So that came with the kit. So I was quite pleased with that. Because I don't know why, but for some reason I've started using two needle minders on my uh, cross stitches now instead of one. Because I tend to attach the chart onto what I'm stitching. Because I just find it easier that way than having to pick up the paper chart, mark it, put it down, pick up my stitching. I know a lot of people do the um, online kind of one on the tablets. Now, I have thought about it and someone said about the app that you can use. However, I did go to add it onto my phone, but then you have to add something else onto it. And I thought, my phone's not got that much memory, so I thought I'm just going to stick to the paper ones. And the other needle minder that I got with a kit is this one. How cute is that? That is just absolutely super, super cute. So yeah, that's what I got with it as well. So those are the main kits that I purchased. And I'm trying to find somewhere to put them in. <laughs> so the other thing that I purchased, it's not exactly a kit. But because oh, I've got a nail down face down here because my stuff's in the bag there. So the other thing that I've got now, it's just here I think. Sorry about this. Yeah, I probably should have got this out beforehand, shouldn't I? Before I started bending down to get it. Where have you gone? Ah, here it is. So the other thing. <laughs> the other thing that I've got now I've been watching some people I've been watching a bit of floss tube lately um, and I've I've started watching Essex Stitcher um, I recently subscribed to her and I've been watching her and I know 
she's doing i think she's still doing it at the minute um hides because uh, i've been watching her previous videos and i know that she was stitching on a hide now it got me really thinking you know something i've never actually stitched a hide and i would love to give it a go so i was going to look on the hide website uh, the heaven and earth website and see if they had any charts but for a paper chart to have it in the paper format the large format and then to have it sent over here from overseas it would have been about 20 odd pound and then there's the threads and the fabric and it just turned out that it would be just too much money i, I just couldn't afford it however i realized i already had three chart hay hay charts so i thought i'd have a little look see what one i fancied doing and the one that i found um is this one now i can't show you the obviously the bits of the chart because not loud <laughs> but yeah i found this one this is called bewitched and the artwork is by lisa parker a heaven and earth design how cute is that that is just adorable so i had a look at this and i looked at the first page or two and the first two pages are literally just block colour. It's got, I think the first page has about 12 colours in. About 10, 12 colours in at the most. And yeah, it is a lot of block colour. Obviously, I can't show you. So I thought, well, with that, I can get just some of the colours, basically the colours that are on the first page. And I can make a start on it and just do the first page. So I have not started it yet because I really want to start it. But I also want to get some of my other stuff done. So I've got the fabric for it. This is a 25 count Magic Guide Even Weave. Now at first I thought this was going to be like 10 by 10 square. Where it's actually 20 by 20. So technically... The squares there, them hold. Um, for, if, if it's 20 by 20, I'm thinking, does it hold about 80 stitches? I'm thinking that, about 80 sti cross stitches in a square. So, yeah, I've not used this fabric. I am using a Magic Guide Even Weave, but it is only 10 by 10 square. So I've got that fabric for it and i'll just pop this back in here and i also got some of the threads now i only got a couple just the threads there um i only got a few because i thought well i can't really look on the second third pages and try and pick out the colors that are on that page because it'd be really hard so i just got mainly the colors that are on the first page so for at least i can make a start and what i can do is each time i've got a little bit of money is actually send for so many more threads which i know that essex stitcher she i don't know if she still does it but she used to get like 20 threads when she could afford it so i think i might do something like that so yeah the thread that i've got in there that's enough and it's the right colors to do the first page or so so i thought it's going to be a slow stitch anyway so for at least then i can make a start on it and i can just take my time with it so ooh, so before we go into what i've actually a couple of my works in progress i'll give you a bit of a life update um now if you watch obviously my coloring channel you you'll know already uh last friday not this friday gone but the friday before we unfortunately lost our beloved cat pingu um i knew he wasn't well um but i didn't know it was up to the extent that he was that he was really ill it was his kidneys and to be honest it all happened very very fast um Took it, I'm not going to go a hole into it, but I took him to the vet on Thursday. They said he needed some teeth extracting. 
uh, maybe a blood test I sent him home with me and it just didn't seem right he really didn't he want eating he want drinking so I said to my husband I'm gonna push for these blood tests I said I just want the blood test and get him seen too because it was really starting to worry me and my husband so I took him back on Friday uh, the lovely kind that she did the blood test um, was going to put him on fluids to hydrate him uh, unfortunately I had a call an hour later when I got home to say that his blood test came back it was not good news unfortunately his kidneys had gone there wasn't going they'd completely gone and basically he would suffer he would have suffered and I don't think he would have lasted until the Wednesday for his teeth extracting so unfortunately we did have to have him put to sleep um, I didn't get to be with him for the actual initial thing but I got to see him around the side of the vets um, I got to be with him for a bit and yeah and um, anyway yesterday I picked up he, I had him cremated and I picked up his ashes so he's back home now what we have decided to do is obviously we've only just lost Pingu and we don't want to replace him we definitely don't want to do that because he was such he was a loving cat he was the light of our lives um, however I do want to help cats um, like a cat rescue I do want to kind of not kind of I do want to help so what um, I called the cat protection in where I live and they've had our information and now we will probably go on the waiting list for an indoor cat so hopefully we will get to adopt another cat a rescue cat so fingers crossed fingers crossed so that was my bit of life update um, otherwise the kids are fine them are healthy Thank God, uh, on our crisis. So them are fine. Um, yeah. So let's get. Uh, I'm not going to have much time to do so much progress, but we're going to just go through one or two of them that I've got. So the first one that I want to show you now. I, the reason I want to show you this is because I recently picked it up when Pingu was still here, and I remember it was the last thing that I was doing when he was with us. So I have not done this in a very long time. This is Mickey Mouse and it's time for tea stained glass. And it's stitched on 14 count. Now I have not worked on that for a very long time. Uh, as I said, I only picked it up when um, the Friday night no, was the Thursday night uh, before we everything on the Friday. And I was stitching it in bed and the cat decided to, he was coming on my lap. So he was having a snuggle and a snooze on my lap while I was stitching. So I decided to do a little bit more and that's how far I've got on it at the minute. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I'd have used a 16 count Ada because you can see that the patches of Ada are showing through the stitches. But I thought I'm not going to start it again. I've already done it, not to mention... This is what I was working on when um, on the last night with Pingu. So I'm going to get that completed. So I'm using DMC threads with that. Surprisingly, I thought that kit would be easy to do, that it would be block colours. But when I was stitching it the other night, it's actually got a lot of confetti. It has. It's got the black in, which is pretty good. But you think, oh, I'll do the black and then I'll fill in the other bits. But it's got quite a lot of confetti in it. So it is taking time to do. So I'm going to show you how far I've got on my Gecko Rouge. Because I've done quite a bit on that. Um, I'm not sure if I did a lot when, when I showed you last. But this is the Gecko Rouge kit that I'm doing at the minute. Which is... The design is by Thomas Fedro, not Thomas, by Tom Fedro, sorry. And I'm stitching it on 25 count even with Magic Guide, one over one. 
it was supposed to be two over one but i found that the two over one was crushing the stitches just seemed to be crushed when i was doing that so i thought i would do one over one instead and it's a lot better so i'm just taking my chart off it because obviously it's fell on the floor anyway because you can't see the chart so that is how far i've got on that i am having such a blast with this i am really really enjoying it um i just think it's coming on really well i love the fabric i love the fact that you can't see any of the fabric coming through the stitches um yet yeah, it's very small and i've even done a tiny bit of parking here <laughs> i've got two colors there so yeah i've got a tiny bit of parking how awesome is that i absolutely love it i really do as i said i'm having such i'm really really enjoying that and i might do some work on it in a minute actually so i've only got time to show you one other design because we're running out of time already because i've been babbling on like nobody's business so the other design that i'm going to show you now hmm I'm going to show you what I've been working on lately because at least then you can see that. So the other thing that I'm working on is um, the Disney Cross Stitch magazine that you can get. It's from Hatchet Part Works. Now, yeah, it might turn out, work out expensive, but I did have um, the subscription, but I cancelled the subscription more or less as soon as I had it because there were like horror stories about people not getting the books. So I thought I'm just going to get it from um, the shop as long as they sell it. And if they stop it, then not, not much I can do about that. However, <laughs> my local co-op has been so, so kind and generous that every time they've had a magazine in they've put it behind the counter because they know that i'll be in to get it so i've been going in of a wednesday to go and pick up the magazine and every time they put it behind the counter for me bless them because they know that i like it so i don't want to shall i take it out of the snap yeah because i'm going to make this the last one that i show you and then I will have to leave it there. So I'm going to take it out the queue snap because I don't feel like you can see what I've stitched on it already. If I leave it in the queue snap, oh my god, my room is a mess. So at the minute, I have done it's a little bit crumpled from being on the queue snap, but at the minute I've done Tigger. Now, this fabric, I absolutely hate it it's nasty <laughs> it's like 11 count it is so thick it's awkward to stitch through on my next um sampler because they're starting on the second one now i might switch out the fabric because i'm not sure that i can use this again but i've done tigger there then i went on to dumbo now you might know from previous videos i hate backstitch but I've done pretty well on these. Um, I've done backstitch there. The other night I completed Mowgli. And I actually completed that while... I, well, I nearly completed it when I was on one of the Stitch and Chat Zoom meetings um, held by uh, Lisa S. Stitches. So I've done that. And now I'm starting on the next motif, which is Bambi. So that is how far I've got on that at the minute. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying that. Now I have got quite a few other whips. However, we are running low on time in here. So I am going to have to leave it there for now. Um, I may do another video in the future. Well, I will do another floss tube showing my other whips that i'm doing but these the ones that i've showed you this time are the main ones that i'm working on uh so other than that i'm really really enjoying my stitching at the minute 
I'm absolutely loving it. I'm finding colouring helps, but I'm finding at the minute stitching is helping a lot more. Um, with colouring, I'm finding that my mind drifts off. And when my mind drifts off, I think about things and I think about Pinga when, yeah, it's when it's not good, not good for me health. So, but with stitching, I'm really, really enjoying it. Don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying my colouring and I'm still doing that. But stitching, I'm finding that's really helping at the minute. Um, and yeah, and I'm really, really enjoying the Zoom meetings as well. Because um, obviously with the current situation, with the COVID, I am supposed to be going on some stitching retreats this year too. However, I've, I'm kind of doubting that will happen, to be honest. Uh, especially because they're in May and June. Uh, however, I have got a backup plan for a local hotel in middle of June. So, kind of hoping if the main retreats don't happen, then that one will. Um, we'll just got to wait and see, I guess. Just got to wait and see. And see how it plans out. So, guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. I'm going to try and get all this back in the bags. <laughs> and get, uh, get editing this video and post it so if you've enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel please feel free to press that subscribe button I would love to have you here um, I'll keep you updated about um, the cat adoption uh, whether we get accepted for a cat and yeah I'll see you again soon so goodbye for now guys bye